Today we're going to talk about the automation of SPE for the analysis of multiple organochlorine pesticide residues from wine. The objective of this study is to develop an automated SPE method for the extraction of 20 organochlorine pesticides using an established regulated manual SPE method for wine testing. We are to demonstrate comparability of automation and manual SPE methodologies through good recoveries, show improvement or optimization to existing extraction methodology, and establish an efficient workflow for transitioning from a manual to automated SPE. Here are a few images comparing manual SPE versus automated SPE systems. On the left side is a traditional manual SPE vacuum manifold, whereas on the right side is Horizon Technology's Smart Prep Extractor for automating SPE. The SPE process consists of four steps. Number one, condition, where we clean the sorbent bed and activate sorbent chemistry. Number two, we load the sample, introducing the sample to the sorbent to begin binding at consistent flow rates. Number three is an optional wash step where we selectively remove interferences. And number four, we elute, collecting the compounds in smallest volumes for further analysis. The Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau routinely conducts pesticide analysis of domestic and imported wines. Regulations authorizes EPA to set maximum residue levels for pesticides in and on foods. Adulterated wines are determined by consultation with EPA and FDA based on determined pesticides and levels. Attach is the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau's regulated method for extracting pesticides in wine. This is the method that we are referencing for this particular study. The following are the materials we used for this particular study. We have chosen two different types of wines, one on the sweeter side and one that is drier and also has a higher alcohol content. The two were chosen to see if there were any differences between these two types of wine. The following is a list of the pesticides of interest and are spiked into our samples at known amounts. Here we are showing a side-by-side -side comparison of TTB's method and Horizon's modified method. The modified steps are highlighted in red. Here's a screen capture of the SmartPrep software method developer. The screen capture shows the method that we have designed for this particular study. The software has a lot of flexibility that allows the customer to mimic any manual SPE method. The Smart Prep comes with an optional bottle rinse kit, and this video is showing that in action. For the evaporation of our SPE eluent, or extract, we used Horizon Technologies ExoVap system. It is an automated concentration slash evaporation system and can accommodate many standard tubes that are available on the market. Shown here are the GC parameters of this particular assay. Here is a table of results comparing the manual manifold versus the smart prep extraction of water and wine. As you can see, for both the water and wine extraction, the recoveries are very comparable. This shows that we're able to successfully mimic the manual SPE method on the smart prep by automating the process. Here's just a summary of the results from the previous slide where we are averaging the recoveries for each compound. By comparing the water and wine, we're seeing better recovery in the water extraction versus the wine extraction. The differences in recovery can likely be due to the matrix effect of wine. Here's a table showing the smart prep extraction of the sweeter wine versus the drier wine with the higher alcohol content. As you can see, the recoveries for each compound is very comparable throughout. However, there are a few compounds with slight differences versus some significant difference. These differences could be due to the matrix effect. 
Endrin aldehyde was one of the compounds that showed the greatest difference in recovery between the sweeter wine and the drier wine. These are chromatograms confirming the presence of endrin aldehyde with retention times as well as the qualifying ions. Endrin aldehyde is subject to degradation and this may possibly be part of the reason for the poorer recoveries in the Chardonnay due to the matrix differences. To conclude, we have successfully automated the SPE process of extracting pesticides from wine. The Smart Prep software has enabled us to consistently program the TCB method into our system. We have also able to establish an automated SPE and bottle rinsing process. The XLVAP has also performed consistent sample eluent dry down. The results show there is a likely wine matrix effect, which are affecting recoveries of certain compounds versus the water recoveries and there is definitely room for improvement with future SPE optimizations. Whereas comparing the sweet wine and the dry wine, we have established that a higher sugar content may hinder recoveries, an approximately 10% difference. Now that we have established that we can automate the SPE process of the extraction of pesticides in wine, we want to achieve higher recoveries that are comparable to the water extraction by resolving the matrix effect. To optimize this method, we want to test the elution flow rates and elution volumes to determine the optimal values, and using the optimal values to test elution solvents for the first and third fractions. So for elution flow rates, we want to test 10 mls per minute, 7 mls per minute, and 5 mls per minute. And for elution volumes, we want to test 5 mls and 7 mls. And to change the first elution solvent, we're changing it from an 80-20 ethyl acetate hexane to 75-25 and 85-15. For the third elution solvent, we want to change it from a 50-50 to 35-65 and 25-75 to see if there is a difference.